for the cooking program today. Today we want to shake nice and lovely. Welcome back again guys. As I said before, we're always making your favorite dishes, bacon and making drinks. Today I feel like making some cookies and I know the kids are my half school. So I have some berry and some cherry mixed fruits. So I feel like I will make some berry, berry and cherry mixed fruits cookie. All right? But to make the cookie, you need ingredients. We're gonna talking about like some sugar. First of all, you need four ounces of sugar. And I'm using some soft brown sugar. And you're gonna need some butter. Room temperature is really good. Four, four ounces of butter. And as I already said, room temperature is really good. Nice one. So I'm also weighing out the butter for you guys. Let me guess you guys see. Alright. This is four ounces of butter. Combine the sugar and the butter together until it comes really creamy. Alright? Just so you guys can see. Nice one. Nice. So, I just cream my butter and my sugar. This is how it look. Four ounce butter, four ounce sugar. Then we're gonna put a teaspoon of milk inside of one medium sized egg right here. That's a teaspoon and beat it. Then add it to your mixture. Lovely. Then now we're gonna weigh out five ounces of plain flour. Five ounces of plain flour, straight inside of it. Then we're gonna get some baking powder. The baking powder is going to be half teaspoon. Half teaspoon of baking powder. Then we're going to weigh out two ounces of the berry and cherry mixed fruits. That's nice. two ounces. And then add it straight to it. Some, sometimes some people sort their fruits, but like oh, it's just cookie, you know what I mean, that's fine, all right? So we're gonna mix it together like this. With all of your ingredients. You have to nice up your hand a little bit, but that's fine. Nice and lovely. After you do that, get your clean flame. Get out a, clean, a piece of a clean flame like this. And then, simple. Before you do that, let's put the door on the table like this first, all right? And simple, a little bit of plain flour, all-purpose flour. And remember, we use all-purpose flour for the dough to make the dough. All right, just a little bit more. Just take a little bit of time and just simple roll it up like this. Simply get your clean flame and put it in it like this. That's it. Roll it. Alright. Nice one. After 
you do that? Simple. Spill, give it a spill like this. And then after you do that, just rest it in the fridge for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna slice it after, all right? Lovely and nice, guys. Nice one. So I just take the cookie mix, which we wrapped up earlier, from the fridge. So first of all, what you need to do, is simple, remove the cling film like this. That's one. And simple, just use a knife. Cut it like this. Get the tray and put a piece of a grease proof paper and just lay it just like this guys. Very easy and simple. And after you do this now, what you can do is lay them out. One, one. Just like this. And just like this. Really nice. You have to be careful sometimes because sometimes it might come out and spread out a little bit but that's that's fine all you have to do is just move them around and give it a little bit of space nice so preheat your oven first after you preheat your oven and put it on gas mark five or six is good for roughly 10 to 12 minutes if not you can give it another two more minutes inside of the oven if you use a different kind of oven at 160 degree is good for 10 to 15 minutes or so so guys enjoy the recipe simple little recipe and effective as i can see the cookie is just beautiful the simple move it around and give it room that means they can bake the right and proper way. So enjoy the recipe as we put this inside of the oven, guys. Nice and lovely. I just take it from the oven, guys, as you can see. Looking so lovely and fantastic. This is all of the cookie 
which we just did and I just take them from the oven now we're gonna put them on a piece of uh let them cool on we're just gonna let them cool on now guys but as I can see looking lovely and nice and lovely as you can see the way they look I mean, so lovely guys so enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel and hope this will be a benefit to someone cooking and got cranberry and cherries inside of it sorry guys cherries inside of it also and it's just beautiful so really fantastic and nice if I even break this one into half like you guys can see really lovely and nice Enjoy the recipe. See you next time. Bye bye. For your time and remember Christmas, we have a lot of idea. Remember the Jamaican rum fruit cake and sorry, so a lot of things is coming for you guys. So thank you so much and hopefully you have a wonderful time. Enjoy yourself and see you in the next time. Bye bye.